Morning everyone, welcome to Road Rodent Restore. I'm John and in this video I will be working on my Vauxhall Insignia and I will be removing the engine sump. So without further ado, let's get some bolts undone. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is remove the front wheel. So while the wheel is still on the floor, we can crack the bolts open. We can check up the car. So now we can remove all the bolts. And remove the wheel like so. And now I'm going to use a good solid axle stand. Okay, so now we can go underneath the car and we can remove the engine protection cover. That's it. So now let's get on with the job in hand. Okay then as you can see this is obviously the sump what's got to come off. And there's all these bolt bolts all the way around. I'm going to have to remove this bracket. I'm going to have to remove the exhaust. Uh, these torque bolts are T45 and there's two I'm very worried about which are deep inside there if you can see in there but I can't even see them at the minute because this is the gearbox and that is the flywheel and the flywheel is in the way so apparently I've got to get to the main crank there, that bolt there, which is a 19mm, and turn that until I can see the bolts up there. So bear with me while I do that, and I'll be back in a bit. Okay then, so I've got those two slackened off. The weird thing is they're staying up there. No matter how much you unscrew them, they don't come out, so hopefully they've got some sort of washer in them to keep the bolts in place so it makes it easier when you put it back together. So next I'm going to try and undo these manifold exhaust bolt things. I've got a spray with WD-40. So I'll be back when I've got those spray off. Okay, so that's the three nuts off. But uh, they've got the uh, Catholic converter spring thing there, I think. And uh, it's not coming off because of this framework. So I think I'm going to have to go further down the exhaust and undo down there. So hopefully it will drop out and I'll have to tie it up over there somewhere. So, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Okay then, so this is where I'm at. I've undone those two bolts down there on the floor, which were the either side of that. It has helped with the exhaust right over to there. Now I've got to undo these two and I might have to undo the two on the bridge part across the exhaust down there. So let me undo those 
and I might have to undo those down there and then I'll be back when we've done that ok then, so we've got that out tidied up to there because I don't want this to snap because that's going to cost a lot of money uh, it was still quite tight, I had to put that in there sort of thing and lever it out so next, uh, I'll put you down there, I don't know if you can see that there's two wire connectors up there. So I've just got to undo those two wire connectors and then hopefully just undo all the sump bolts and we're there. But there's the bolt here. I think I'm going to have to undo and there's one on the other side as well so I might have to undo those as well so bear with me while I do all that ok then wishful thinking what about the drive shaft didn't we got to get all that off there could get that bolt out there I can pull that off. Now that way, that drive shaft will come out. Yeah, let me get this bolt out, see if I can get the bottom of all ball joint separated, and I'll be back when I've done that. Okay then, so we've got the bolt out. Now we've just got to separate this out. Then we can move this out the way, and then we can make some room for the drive shaft to come out down there so let's do this first and then we can do that bit down there ok then, so I've got to do it this way let me try and explain uh, this is the import shaft this part down here is the drive shaft and all this should be fixed to there uh, fixed to the side of the engine what I've been trying to do is break this drive shaft out that's why I'm on the ball joint on there but I can just not get the swing at it under here because it's just too low to get a good swing at it and knock that out so I've gone up and i managed to undo all this bracket and then because of this bolt here trapped in this bit so I've had to drain the oil and uh, you can see that the drive shaft's just popped out a little bit so I could get the last bolt out on this blind bit which goes in there and now the drive shaft is out the way in anyway so I can get to all the sump bolts so can actually get this sump out without taking the drive shaft completely out. Just get this undone, pop it out this end. You have to undo the bolts on the front of this as well. And then you can get up here. But there is two more bolts. Uh, one just here. And then if you go to the other side, there's one just there. And I've managed to break this one undone with a 12 mil socket. Because I ain't got one of the special Torx sockets. So if you put a 12 mil socket on it, it might work for you. It is for me. So, just got to get that one done. Get all these bolts out. And then I'll be back. When I've done that.
okay then finally got the sump out oh my god okay then so there you go that's how i removed my sump engine cover from my Vauxhall insignia and if you've got a Vauxhall insignia I hope you don't have to do the same job because it's not very easy I would say it's the oldest job I've ever done on a motor vehicle but anyway hope it's been of some use to you hope it's getting you some knowledge of how to get a sump out so anyway, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. I'll see you in another life, brother. Oh yes, and uh, has anybody seen Mr. Cat? If anybody's seen Mr. Cat, please leave a comment in the comments below. I think his first name is Tom. Mm -hmm.